Good morning, everyone. Welcome to HXTV program. I'm Cynthia Wong. Today, I'm going to talk about a hot social issue, which is moral and national education curriculum in Hong Kong. On the 13th of October in 2008, our chief executive Donald Zhang said that the moral and national education curriculum would replace MCE in order to strengthen the national education in the policy address. 2010 to 2011. Therefore, the Education Bureau wanted to propose this new subject to primary school in 2012 and 2013 in secondary school. What do you think? From my point of view, it seems that it's worth to propose. However, Oh no, they didn't agree with me. Why? Let me have a short interview with one of them. Hello, Ms. W. Can you briefly talk about the reason why you don't like moral and national education in Hong Kong? Sure, it's a brainwashing course. Brainwashing? Oh yeah, it's a horrible action. Let me find out what is the most brainwashing part in the curriculum guide. According to the curriculum guide in the moral and national education, the teachers needed to help students developing sense of belonging towards the family, society, and the country. What is more, the teacher needed to assess the success of the course towards the students. Do you know what the method is? Oh my god! Bingo! The method is by observation and giving examinations. Is it true that they can assess the self of belongings simply by observation? According to research, that was conducted by the Hong Kong Professional Teachers Union in 2012. 67 of teachers thought that the curriculum may bring bring rushing effect towards the students. This shows us that the brainwashing effect is one of the most important reasons for the teachers to oppose the curriculum. One of the possible solutions is proposing the Chinese history course. Nowadays, the Chinese history course is only proposing in the secondary school, so the primary students will not have sufficient background to judge the history. If there are examinations in the moral and national education curriculum, they will definitely memorize all the materials in the course without thinking. After that, the brainwashing effect will occur in the primary school. In the long run, the government should propose the Chinese history course in the primary school. When the primary school students have a deeper understanding towards the Chinese culture through lessons, they will suf have sufficient historical background to value the history in their future life. Moreover, they can only learn the history of the People's Republic of China, but, al but also the history before the Chinese Nationalist Party. Therefore, the teachers will not be afraid of political promotion due to these causes. Since the students are capable to build up their own historical judgment, Last but not least, the self-belonging towards countries can also build up due to better understanding of our history, including the strength and the weakness of our country. Thank you for watching our TV program. See you next week.